when I was a child, when we were out in the car, I used to get very excited when we saw a rainbow. I'd grown up being told that if you could find the spot where the rainbow came to earth, there would be a crock of gold. My father always played along and we would chase the rainbow's end. Of course, we never found it. It kept dodging us and moving ahead. Alcuin of York, whom we remember today, died in the year 804. He was a sort of academic whiz kid. Born in Northumberland, he was a star pupil at the great school in York. So famous did he become that the Emperor Charlemagne poached him from England to become part of the group of renowned scholars based in Aachen in Germany. When in his 60s, at that time quite some age, Alcuin was appointed to the important position of Abbot of Tours in France, the monastery founded by St. Martin. Alcuin is remembered now as a theologian, a mathematician, the inventor of a form of written script, but probably most importantly, as a poet and writer of prayers. In many of his writings, you find the same sense of looking forward, of searching, that I experienced as a child when I was searching for the rainbow's end. Here is one of Alcuin's most well-known prayers. O eternal light, shine in our hearts. O eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. O eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy upon us. Grant that with all our hearts and minds and strength, we may always seek your face. In your infinite mercy, bring us into your holy presence. Strengthen our weakness, that we may follow in the footsteps of your blessed Son, obtain your mercy, and enter your promised joy. Amen. The first thing to notice is that Alcuin stresses the fact that God is eternal. He isn't just about the past and the present. He's about the future too. He holds all time in his hands. He is about light and goodness, power, wisdom and pity. These amazing qualities exist for our benefit. The light will shine in our hearts when we sense that we are being overwhelmed by darkness. Goodness delivers us from evil when we feel threatened and anxious. Power is our support when we feel under attack and helpless. Wisdom will take us beyond the frustrations of the present moment and pity will provide the love we so desperately crave. At present, it seems almost impossible for us to think about the future. We might be tempted simply to trust that everything will be exactly as it used to be. But Alcuin points us beyond the status quo, the comfortable. He urges us to follow in the footsteps of Jesus through suffering to resurrection, to a new life. There is for us a journey from darkness to light, from fear to hope. The treasure we will discover at the end of that journey will be the promise of joy experienced in God's holy presence. <laughs>